Good morning. It's Monday, August 26, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, James the Just, Part 10, Wisdom and Peace. And our scripture is James, Chapter 3. But the wisdom from above is first of all pure. It is also peace-loving, gentle at all times, and willing to yield to others. It's full of mercy and the fruit of good deeds. It shows no favoritism and is always sincere. And those who are peacemakers will plant seeds of peace and reap a harvest of righteousness. My friend Charles traveled some deep waters over the last several years supporting a longtime friend who recently lost the battle and gained heaven. Charles, also a pastor, was doing pastoral work up close and personal and difficult. He wrote Facebook posts to keep his friends and colleagues up on progress. Listen to some of his thoughts. Sometimes I wish life could return to normal, but then I realize I have no idea what normal is anymore. Through all my critical incident stress management training and clinical pastoral care, we learn and teach folks that go through traumatic life experiences that life will never return to the normal that was. With each traumatic experience in life, we enter a new normal. The problem most people have trying to cope, they're trying to find or live the normal that was. It's gone forever. We have to come to the realization that we are in a new normal and learn to accept and embrace it. That is where our faith and trust in God shines through. Because no matter what changes and new normals we go through in life, God is always our constant. His love never changes, and he will never leave or forsake us. So I have to embrace what this new normal is in the present, and remember God is with us in and through it. It would be normal to be angry and bitter when life gets intensely unfair. And while most believers would agree that letting go of bitterness is good, the question really is, how? How in the world do we let go of something that holds on to us like the plague? Listen to the promises in these two verses and see if it makes sense. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Steep your life in God reality, God initiative, God provisions. Don't worry about missing out. You'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met. And then John 14, 25. I'm leaving you well and whole. That's my parting gift to you, peace. I don't leave you the way you're used to being left, feeling abandoned, bereft. So don't be upset. Don't be distraught. You let go by letting God in. You surrender. So you let go, and then look what happens when you let God. According to James, when you let go of the world's ways and you ask God for his way, the wisdom to make good choices in your life begins to come your way. So it's wisdom seed which God plants within us when we let go, and wisdom begins to change us. Proverbs 1.7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. When God plants seeds of his wisdom in you because you open the ground of your life to him, even in, and especially in, the worst of times, that which develops is a person who has taken his stand publicly for Christ. God helps you become a person of mercy and convictions, teaching you to be a person of integrity, convinced in the faith, living a life of loving the Lord publicly and privately. Now that sounds like quite a crop, doesn't it? Yet, that's only the showy tassel above the corn. The real kernel, the real fruit of what grows from God's seeds planted in your life, is what's underneath all that. Peace. For you today. Peace comes in an atmosphere of the kingdom life filled with wisdom. When you chase it, demand it, or try to imitate it, it'll slip through your fingers like a greased pig. But when you go about seeking the kingdom of God, he plants seeds of peace in your life. And the crop that follows is that condition of peace in you, around you, and as a gift for others who know you, which becomes a blessing to God, your family, your community, 
and it passes all understanding in you. Now that's worth letting go so you can let God. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.